Blue flag stars. Thank you all very much for coming out tonight. I apologize that it is. We don't have enough room inside. But we do have loudspeakers and you can enjoy the cool evening. <laughs> Not the warm inside, so you're very lucky for that. The middle class of this country is disappearing. Almost all new income and wealth is going to the top 1%. And you know what? That is not satisfactory. That is why I believe that we should raise the minimum wage in this country to $15 an hour. And I understand, I was just told that your governor here is making it harder for municipalities to raise the minimum wage. That seems to me to be exactly the opposite of what we should be doing. The bottom line is we've got to do that nationally. We also need pay equity for women so they're not paid 79 We need to end a corrupt campaign finance system. What America is about is one person, one vote. It is not about billionaires buying elections. To reform a broken criminal justice system. As a nation, we should not be having more people in jail than any other country on earth. Instead of locking up large numbers of young people, often African American, Latino, Native Americans, you know what we should be doing? You know what we should be doing? We should be educating them. We should be creating jobs for our young people, not locking them up. And when I think about the way this country from way back when, from the beginning of this country, has treated Native Americans, it is an absolute disgrace. It is not acceptable that treaties have been broken, that people have been cheated, and that today we have the Native American community experiencing some of the highest rates of unemployment, some of the lowest quality education, some of the most inadequate health care in this country. That is not acceptable. If elected president, we will treat the Native American community with the respect they want. In this country today, we have 11 million undocumented people, and I know you got a sheriff around here who apparently takes pleasure. pleasure in mistreating these people, what we are going to do is something very different. We're going to pass comprehensive immigration reform and a path toward citizenship. And if Congress does not do that, we're going to use the executive powers of the presidency to do everything we can. Undocumented people in this country should not be living in fear, should not be living in the shadows they deserve better. We will fight together for a path toward citizenship. We need in this country the best educated workforce in the world. It is not acceptable that young people are leaving college thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars in debt. And that is why, together, we are going to make public colleges and universities tuition free. And we're going to pay for that through a tax on Wall Street speculation. If the Congress could bail out the illegal behavior on Wall Street, surely Wall Street can help the middle class today. 
I am a member of the Senate Committee on the Environment. I have talked to scientists all over the world. Climate change is real. It is caused by human activity. It is already doing massive damage in this country and around the world. Yeah. We have got to summon up the courage to take on the fossil fuel industry. Yeah. And we have got to transform our energy system away from fossil fuel to energy efficiency and sustainable energy. A state like Arizona has an unbelievable natural resource. It shines every day. Utilize it. Arizona can be providing electricity throughout the West. We need to invest in solar. We need to invest in wind. We need to invest in geothermal. That is the future of our energy system. Let me just say something to you that no other candidate for president will tell you. And that is that given the nature of our political system today, no president, not Bernie Sanders or anybody else, can do what has to be done for working families alone. Because the power of Wall Street, the power of corporate America, the power of the wealthy campaign contribution contributors is such that no president, no matter how well-intentioned, can take them on effectively. The way we transform America is through a political revolution. Yeah. In other words, millions of Americans are going to have to stand up, fight back, and demand that we have a government that represents all of us, not just billionaire campaign contributors. On Tuesday, Arizona is going to be having a very, very important primary. And I will tell you what has happened in past primaries and caucuses. We win, and we've won nine states so far. We win when the voter turnout is large. When working people and young people come out in large numbers, we win. When the voter turnout is low, we lose. So what I am asking you, next Tuesday, bring out your friends, your relatives, your co-workers. Let us have a record-breaking turnout here in Arizona. Let this state... Let your state help lead this country in the direction of a political revolution. Thank you all.